Alright. Well, hello everybody. This is Nova at uh, Occupy Honolulu. Yeah, it's better without the light. But anyhow, this is Nova at Occupy Honolulu. At Thomas Square, what do we notice here down inside that park? We have canopies. And as we know, the city likes to come in on Occupy Honolulu's encampment and cut down canopies with bolt cutters and throw them out. Now, some would say, well, you guys didn't. We didn't have a permit to be there. But we were exercising a First Amendment right, which was known throughout the city, to the council, to the mayor, to the governor, to everybody. And that itself puts it in a whole different realm than someone needing a permit. But whatever, we're past all that. <laughs> Sorry about the loud music by the, or the loud trucks and that were by the street. We had a fire or something earlier uh, up the street. But uh, anyhow, as we have all these tents sitting here, you know, like I was saying, uh, you say, well, we didn't have a permit. Well, we got past that, you know, whatever. I'm not allowed to be here. Well, uh, the lawful Hawaiian government was here one time with their canopy, and they had a permit for overnight. And uh, as we all know, they were kicked out of the park. Now, if anybody has rights to uh, the park, that would be... What's up, man? That would be the lawful Hawaiian government, or just Hawaiians in general. This is their park. They uh, left us in care of, or trustee for the state, and the state decided to give it to the city and county of Honolulu, and now they're just exercising their rights to kick everyone out. So, <clears throat> as they use bolt cutters on our canopies, as they kick the lawful Hawaiian government out of the parks, we have canopies here for a dog uh, gathering, I guess you would say. There's some kind of competition or something, you know, something that would have an overnight um, permit, which I'm hoping they have because they have stuff here, the same violations of Occupy Honolulu and the lawful Hawaiian government. Yeah, it's all throughout the park. I know you can't see them way out there, but it's even by the fountain where the banyan trees are. It's everywhere out here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, we have at least 19 tents out here and a porta potty. Oh, nope, there is a number 20. <laughs> yep, gotta have an even number. 20 tents. So, or, or canopies. And as you can see, some have walls. Another restriction that we're not allowed to have as long as they only have one wall. This one over here has two walls. I uh, wish I can get in closer, but yeah, we have two walls on this one. That one's in clear violation. They took one of our canopies and made us take it down because it had screening screening is seen as a wall even though you can see uh, through it we also have a gentleman that's been paid to be here he's walking by the tank closer to me wondering what I'm doing but he's paid to guard this park and uh <laughs> so now we have a clear violation of someone being in the park after hours because as Occupy Honolulu and the lawful Hawaiian government was told that even with an overnight uh, permit, no one is allowed to be in the park overnight. <laughs> so, so for a park that is clearly not a dark dog park, dogs are allowed to be here, but it will, the city refuses to designate it as a dog park. We have a dog uh, gathering of some sort. And they're allowed to have canopies and all sorts of items that be in clear violation of park rules and uh, Bill 54 rules with an individual standing guard for all this equipment when we're not even allowed to be in the general area. We were uh, chased down in the public or in the private grounds and had our stuff removed just because we had stuff. So... <laughs> This is what the city does. It uh, targets Hawaiians, 
in their sovereign land of an historic uh, park. It attacks people with First Amendment rights to protest in uh, uh, peaceful gatherings or peaceful assemblies and allows people that's in violation of what the park rules are for dogs and allows people to sit in it to guard that stuff while they have all their stuff in 20 some tents all over the place so yeah I just wanted to point that out as we've seen uh, at another instance uh, they took some of our signs down said that we weren't allowed to have them on precious trees that was planted by an individual and uh, I'm not going to get into the whole scenario of that thing but then we saw somebody that wanted to sell plants put up a huge sign and was legally able to or allowed I don't want to say legally because supposedly it's against the law but allowed to do that not on just one instance but on two different instances totaling of almost two weeks worth of use of those trees with those with uh, those signs but if we put one on there that night we get raided and it's taken down because we are in violation and stuff was in the park <laughs> so sorry for it being so dark but you know it's uh not even sure what time it is anymore oh 108 in the morning so of course it's going to be dark out here there's a little bit of light in here to see some but i just wanted to make sure everybody knew that here in honolulu they target the houseless they target people that wants to use freedom of speech and peaceful assembly and they target hawaiians with actual rights to this park and uh, kick them out and destroy their stuff and steal stuff from them but then if you are blatantly going to go against the law with uh, park use with dogs and throw canopies and have people, individuals in there it's okay because why you're not uh, a protest group <laughs> with legal right to be there and you're not Hawaiians with legal rights to be there because it was your dang their dang lands so yeah I don't know how, you, how else you want to say it but it's purely targeting and uh, unjust behavior by the city and as uh, far as I'm concerned the park department should have been here destroying and throwing all their stuff out for blatantly being against the park rules and regulations and the permit so issued like anybody else in this city is able to get. Alright guys, this is Nova. I'm out of here. Talk to you later.